mystery sauce. The famous chef in Ratatouille, I think his name was Gisto, said anyone can cook. I'm gonna use that as inspiration and give this sauce a try. So I'm cooking this for an event where people get to try this sauce and decipher what the ingredients are. So my intention here is to make something delicious, something that goes with veggies that I'm gonna be pairing it with, but also that has a couple interesting ingredients that people might not expect or decipher right away, and yet still taste familiar. Let's give it a shot. I have the ingredients here. We're gonna do some pomegranate juice, some balsamic, some molasses. I'm gonna add some lemon to brighten it up and rosemary to kind of add an earthy effect, as well as some arrowroot powder to thicken it up. And the very secret ingredient is this charcoal, which is black, and really the intention there is just to make it a black sauce. So it might kind of fib people that are trying it. We're gonna add a cup of the pomegranate. Next, we're gonna do a teaspoon of the balsamic, a tablespoon of the molasses. Full disclosure, I have tried to make the sauce a couple times and <laughs> the first couple times were kind of a disaster. I've been looking for a specific viscosity of the sauce, right? I, I wanted it, I don't want it super runny. I want it to be a little bit more syrupy. I have been cooking it down a little bit too much and I, the first time, added way too much arrowroot powder. So it, it honestly ended up kind of like tar. <laughs> which is relatively inedible. So <laughs> this is the third time making the sauce and I'm really hoping it goes well, it goes according to plan. And this is something that we can serve the diners. I am excited for the, the balance of these tastes though. I really like how it's turned out, that it is sweet, but it's not too overpowering. The pomegranate, if you haven't had it before, has a nice tartness to it, almost like a cherry. Um, that, that tastes really, really yummy. And I think I'm serving this with carrots and beets, and so I think it will kind of add a, a nice natural sweetness to those other ingredients. Now we have one and a half juice lemons. We whisk it up, put the rosemary just straight in, because we are gonna just let that simmer and steep as it cooks and remove it in a little bit. So now I'm gonna add it to the heat. And we're gonna go medium low with the lid on for about 10 minutes. We're gonna take the lid off, let it reduce at a low heat for about 30 more. And then, then we have <laughs> game time. Hopefully we have the timing right this time and it doesn't reduce to a thick tar. But the intention is to then whisk in our arrowroot and our charcoal powder, blacken it up and allow that to go for another five to ten minutes and that's when we really have to watch it to just make sure that it's the right consistency we remove it from the heat let it cool and keep our fingers crossed all right so it's been about 30 minutes we're gonna take the rosemary out of here and we're gonna try the sauce it still looks pretty soupy like it didn't reduce very much but it tastes incredible you can still taste the tartness of the pomegranate. And it's a little bit sweeter, obviously, with the molasses, but it's really, really yummy. You can also really taste the rosemary, I think. I don't know if people in the contest are gonna be tasting it as much, but I can certainly taste it knowing it's in there. Now we add our charcoal, our small amount of arrowroot, and we get to whisk it up. So now it definitely looks ominous, like it's black, maybe it's squid ink, Maybe it's licorice. It really is kind of undistinguishable. I think that's on point. Now we get another 10 minutes to let it sit. This is kind of the moment where I really need to be patient watching it, making sure that it's not reducing too thick. In 10 minutes, we will hopefully have a edible sauce. Thank you very kind. Is the website terrible? Uh, and it, it... I pulled this sauce off of the stove a little bit earlier because in the past it turned out like tar. <laughs> so I want to make sure that wasn't the case. So it seems a little bit thinner than I would like it. Now I know the feeling of the sauce. It needs a couple more minutes 
So I actually probably will use this same sauce, put it back on the stove, see how that feels in the future. But at the end of the day, the taste is right on point. It is sweet, but with the earthiness of the vegetables and the little flatbread that I'm envisioning for this event, I think it will be perfect. You still taste the tanginess of that lemon. It's really amazing. If you are one of those people that uh, went to this event and were guessing these sauce ingredients, I'm excited to hear what you thought was in the sauce. Um, what came through for you, if you tasted that rosemary or even got the pomegranate, right? The central ingredient. I'm excited to see what you all come up with. That being said, if I can cook this, so can you. And that's why we're creating an Anyone Can Cook Off, where we virtually meet together, we get assigned to small groups. Prior to this event, you're gonna learn this secret ingredient, the shopping list of other ingredients. You're gonna come together in these small groups randomly sign and or you sign up with your own group, you'll be cooking together virtually in your own kitchens where we all create dishes, different separate dishes, right? But dishes with this secret ingredient, with these other ingredients that you have shot for prior. At the end, see what you come up with. We do a mindful eating exercise, we share what we've created, we taste test it, and we rate each ingredient, and the winner at the end gets a prize. So. I'd love to cook with you all and see what you all come up with in that kind of environment. If you'd like to learn more, you've got a link below. Uh, if you want to see other challenges or have other ideas of how you want to see different kinds of events, get involved, please let me know, subscribe. I'm looking forward to cooking with you all.